Hello, welcome to our Essential Oils 101 basic class. I'm Beverly and we're coming to you from Dallas, Texas. So you may have a little hear a little bit of an accent there in my voice, but and I may slip in a y'all here and there, but um, to begin with, we're tonight we're talking about Young Living Essential Oils. Um, I'm an independent distributor. I am a nurse, but I'm not a um, medical professional. So I have a little disclaimer that we'll um, add in here in just a second. This is for your educational purposes only. Um, being that I am a nurse, I can't diagnose, treat, promise a cure, any of that kind of stuff, but um, we will educate you a good bit on essential oils tonight and the many uh, properties they have and the therapeutic uses they also have. So essential oils basically are the lifeblood of the plant. They do for us what they do um, inside the plant. So they can alter DNA, they can repair DNA, they can um, bring oxygen and nutrients to the cell, they can help repair cell um, cellular damage. Um, if you think about a plant, it really can't get up, from, you know, uproot itself and go to the ER if it gets sick or trampled or a bug starts biting on it. It's got to heal itself from the inside out. So when these essential oils are um, taken into our body, they can do some of the same things. They help get rid of toxins, impurities. Um, they're very tiny. The essential oils are very, very tiny molecules. They actually cross into um, our skin and into our system very easily and get into our cells. They can also cross the blood-brain barrier, which a lot of drugs can't do that. Um, so they're very uh, easily penetrated into the cell and the cell membrane. And they also, uh, by doing that, they support our immune system. So Young Living has 100% th genuine therapeutic grade oils. Um, they are generally regarded as safe, uh, as food additives by the FDA. And you'll see on the bottles of the oils, if they're able to be ingested, you can peel off a little label and it'll say, um, like a little supplement label, like on your vitamins, they'll tell you that you're able to ingest it. Young Living um, is the only essential oil company that has the seed to seal process. It's a five-step process. Actually, we take our seeds, they're organic seeds, and they're sown in virgin oil that's never been um, chemically treated or, or has any kind of pesticides or herbicides on it. Uh, we cultivate it, grow it up, um, distill it in our, uh, at our farms, and we test it both in-house and by third-party testing, and we seal it. <clears throat> we seal it at our, um, our farms as well. So from the time the seed is sourced into the, from the oil until it gets to the bottle, um, we have extremely strict quality control um, that takes place. So Young Living does have a, a five-step seed to seal process. So we uh, have the seeds, they're organic virgin seeds planted in virgin oil with no, or with soil, oil, soil. Um, with no pesticides, herbicides, any kind of chemicals or anything into the soil. We cultivate it. Uh, we actually have, uh, we have people that actually hand weed the farms, which is quite impressive if you ever see how big the farms are. Um, we grow them up, we distill them at the, the right time. There's certain um, requirements that go into that whole process, distillation process has to be the right temperature and everything to harvest um, the, the, the plants or whatever part of the plant that we're harvesting. We actually test in-house in our lab, own laboratory, and we also have third-party testing outside of um, our facilities as well. And then we seal it up all in one uh, in one place. So Young Living does have very rigorous rigorous quality controls, and not only are our farms held to that standard, but the farms that we partner with are held to that standard as well. So essential oils date way back. Um, they go back to 4500 BC. They're mentioned 188 times in the Bible. And over 70% of the books in the Bible mention essential oils. So we've all heard the, the story of, of baby Jesus. The wise man brought frankincense and myrrh to him um, when he was born. And so that was actually highly regarded back then, um, you know, close to equivalent to gold, the frankincense and myrrh oil were. And then Mary also anointed Jesus' feet with spikenard. And that's just a couple of examples of um, oils being used in the, in the Bible. Okay. 
they're actually different grades of essential oils. So Young Living's oil would be at the top with a therapeutic grade. Um, it's pure, medicinal, unadulterated, doesn't have anything added to it, safe for internal use, and um, it contains all therapeutic compounds and nothing extra in there. Then you have natural or food grade oils. These are considered kind of your organic oils, but can still contain chemicals. So, um, and may, maybe very few of the therapeutic compounds. So your, uh, your oils that you buy at Whole Foods um, and other over-the-counter type essential oils that would be considered your natural or food grade oils. And then you have perfume grade. Um, they basically have a little bit of essential oil in the base, but they're enhanced by chemicals. Uh, and solvents to increase the volume and the fragrance and um, they basically don't really have any therapeutic effects um, and they can actually cause negative effects so you get headaches from perfumes and that kind of thing because they're uh, actually more chemical than they are um, essential oil and then you have your synthetic or your nature identical grade um, these are actually lab created oils which I'm going to add in here that um, even though labs have tried to create the therapeutic uh, essential oils, they can't do it. They can get it very chemically close, but as far as the therapeutic properties of it, they cannot um, restructure that in the lab, which I find quite interesting. But the synthetic um, grade oils are very cheap. They're kind of the floral water type stuff. Um, they absolutely have no therapeutic benefits, and, and they can actually be harmful because they are synthetically made. So there's different ways to use essential oils. Um, the first way is topically. We talked earlier about the molecular structure being very small, so they're very easily absorbed into the skin. So it usually takes one to three drops um, onto the desired body part or on the bottom of your feet. Um, you, sometimes these oils need to be mixed with the carrier oil, especially if they're considered a hot oil. So things like peppermint, clove, um, oregano, cinnamon, those things are hot and usually on the back of your bottles, you'll be able to see whether or not you need to dilute the oil or not. So don't get too hung up on that, you know, knowing which ones to dilute, which not to dilute. Um, another thing with, if you have sensitive skin, you might start out diluting all of your oils uh, when you're using them just to make sure you don't have a sensitivity to them. You can also bathe in the oils, but you got to first mix them with some Epsom salt to help them um, mix better in the water. You can use Vitaflex therapy, which is um, in our uh, reference books or you can actually Google it and find it online. It's kind of like your reflexology or your acupuncture sites on the bottom of your feet, your hands, your ears, and actually your spine all have um, Vitaflex therapy points that correspond with organs in the body. So you can actually use the oils on those as well. I actually tell people don't get too hung up on the bottom of the feet. Just We have huge pores on the bottom of our feet, so I think it's something like 2,000 pores. So they very readily accept all of those essential oils, and they'll, they'll go where they need to go. You can also um, layer the oils on top of one another. You don't have to worry about them interacting or having some kind of, um, you know, uh, interaction with each other. Just you put them on top of one another as you're applying them. Always dilute for children. Always, always, always dilute for children. Um, because they, what it does is it actually helps um, slow down the absorption rate of the oil. It doesn't decrease the therapeutic effect of the oil. It just slows down the the absorption into the skin. So here's all your Vitaflex points. There'll be a quiz later. I'm just kidding. Um, the next one is direct inhalation. Research shows that when you inhale the oils, they actually can stimulate the olfactory receptors um, and activate regions in your brain's limbic system that uh, is associated with memories, emotions, state of mind. So they're, they go up in there very quickly. Just within a few seconds of smelling the oils, they go up into that system. So you can do this by directly inhaling straight from the bottle. Not snorting it from the bottle, but sniffing it from the bottle. I actually had someone ask me that the other day. Do I snort it out of the bottle? No, you sniff it. Um, you can actually place a few drops in your hand, rub your palms together in a circular motion, and then cup them over your face and breathe in deeply. And you can also put them in a diffuser necklace uh, or to wear around your neck. So those are the few ways you can get in by just directly inhaling. The next way is to diffuse. And if you saw on the table earlier, we have our diffuser going. Um, you can actually diffuse the oils into the air. 
They will help get rid of odors in your home. You, they actually put the, the therapeutic oils into your air so you can breathe those in and get the, um, the uh, therapeutic effects of it. You can actually use this, uh, tap water. It says here to use filtered or distilled, but actually they found now that um, tap water works just as well. Um, and you definitely don't want to put your essential oils in a humidifier unless the manufacturer specifies that you can put essential oils in there because of the different grades of plastic, um, therapeutics can actually degrade plastic. And also the humidifiers use um, warm steam or hot steam and anytime you heat up the oils it actually decreases the therapeutic effects of them. So just want to make sure you have it in the cool mist humidifier that, um, or the, the humidifier diffuser. Another thing to keep in mind when we're talking about diffusing the oils is, you know, we all love our scented candles and our, um, our wall plug-ins and stuff that smell good, um, that make our house smell good. Well, you have to be aware that fragrance on the back of any kind of label on any of those smelly good stuff can actually constitute 300 different kinds of chemicals, or up to 300 different kinds of chemicals. So, and one of those chemicals is actually formaldehyde. So formaldehyde actually gets in there and numbs that um, olfactory receptor. And so after a while, you know, your thing's still half full, but you don't smell it anymore. Well, that's why um, it's been numb. So and we all know what formaldehyde has been used for, hopefully. Uh, we actually embalm bodies with formaldehyde. So you can use the diffusers in place of your smell good stuff in your home. The other way you can get essential oils is to take them internally. So on the back of the label, if you see that it's, uh, supplement gray or, or the little supplement table is on there you can act, uh, put the oils in a capsule and swallow them you can put them in juice tea or nature red um, antioxidant juice you can put them in a spoonful of honey I've seen recipes for um, cough syrups like that um, you can season your foods with the oils so we have basil uh, rosemary oregano you can put those in your spaghetti sauce you can actually put a drop of oil on or under your tongue which I have to say has got to be pretty brave because all the oils I've put in my mouth have been pretty strong. So I don't know that I want to put them directly on, on my tongue or, or under the tongue. But um, I have swiped on the inside of my cheek before. That's not quite as bad, but they're much tolerable in your juice or tea. Hot apple cider is very good with thieves and, and lemon in it. So there's a few safety tips you need to be aware of. There's not many, but a few. Um, you never, ever, ever want to put essential oils directly in your eye or in your ear canal because it's going to burn. Um, you can rub it around your ear and you can rub it around your eye, like on the bony part of your eye, around. You can do it that way, but just don't put it in. If by chance you actually get in your eye, you're not going to go blind. Um, stay calm and just get a little bit of carrier oil. And when I'm talking about carrier oil, I mean olive oil, coconut oil, um, almond, sunflower, and there's borage, there's hemp, there's a bunch of different little oils that you can use as carrier oil. Most commonly are, are olive oil and coconut. Just rub that a little bit in your eye. It'll help dilute it and help with the burning. Um, one thing you definitely don't want to do is flush your eyes with water because that's the first thing we kind of think about doing is running and flushing. Don't want to do that because you're actually going to drive the, the oils further into your eyes. It's going to become a little more painful. Um, so. Uh, just stay away from the water when it comes to your eyes or ears. There is a place for water and essential oils, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. If the oil starts to feel hot to your skin, you know, if you rub it on and it starts to be a little warm or get a little red, just apply a little bit of carrier oil on there. It'll help um, slow it down and the, the uh, absorption rate slow down a little bit, and it'll help with the, the heat of it. Um, pregnant women, epileptics, and those with high blood pressure, and I'm also going to add with those with um, blood sugar issues, need to consult their doctors as there's a few oils that need to be avoided. Some of the oils actually have hormonal type properties, so those can interfere with um, pregnancies and pregnant women also can interfere with lactation. Um, so if you're breastfeeding, that would be another one you need to just pay attention to that. Epileptics, there are some, uh, some um, oils that could bring up on an epileptic seizure. Um, and then so that those, some oils can increase or lower your blood pressure and increase or lower your blood sugar. So just keep that in mind. Make sure you let the doctors know you're, you're, you're using the oils. Um, generally, the essential oils aren't recommended for persons undergoing radiation or chemo. Not to say that they can't be used. I mean, for occasional nausea or emotional purposes or relaxation, it's perfect for that. Um, I do recommend that you get on um, www.oil-testimonials.com, and you can search uh, what other folks have used for um, things during their chemotherapy or cancer treatment. 
Um, another precaution is no peppermint, rosemary, or eucalyptus under the age of five. You don't want to rub it on the throat or neck of children under the age of five. And then wintergreen under the age of 12. Um, there's like a one in 10,000 chance, I think it's 10,000, that um, the child can have a reaction to that and it actually can worsen, um, worsen respiratory symptoms. So you can rub it on their feet, just don't put it around their neck. And the small children. Citrus oils are also photosensitive, so make sure that you, if you're going to apply them on, like oils like bergamot or any of your citrus oils, that if you're going to put them on topically, avoid being in the sun for at least 24 hours after you apply them uh, because they can cause discoloration of the skin. If you're allergic to thing, anything, always read the label. However, with that said, if someone says they're allergic to the cedar pollen, it doesn't necessarily mean that you can't use cedar wood because the pollen is different than the essential oils, different chemical makeup of it. So you could be allergic to pollen, but have absolutely no problem with the cedar wood. So just the oil of the cedar wood. So just, just be aware. And then of course, taking medications on a regular basis, always consult your doctor. Um, I do want to make a note on this being a nurse that your doctor's probably going to look at you like you might be half crazy, or um, they may know what you're talking about. My best recommendation is to, for you is to do your research. Take in research articles to your physician and show them, hey, I, you know, I found this research article and it says that this oil is good for this. What do you think? Um, doctors and nurses are not trained for um, what we call alternative medicine. Uh, we're trained in Western medicine. And so all of this stuff is, is kind of foreign to your regular medical doctors and your nurses. So educate them if you get a chance to do that. So now we're going to go over the different oils. If you're doing this class or this video with someone present that's actually presenting the oils to you, at this time you can pass the oils around um, as we go over each one so you can smell them. However, if this video has been sent to you by someone that's just wanting to introduce the oils to you, you're not going to have a chance to, to smell them, but, but that's okay. We're going to um, go through all of this and, and you're going to learn a lot anyway. Lavender. Lavender is the first one we like to go over. It's a wonderful oil. It's a, basically a Swiss army knife of oils. You can use it for just about everything. Um, actually, uh, it's, there's hundreds of uses for, for lavender oil. And there's actually over 200 um, chemical co components in our lavender essential oil. So that's, that's kind of interesting. And it takes 170 to 250 pounds of the lavender plant material to make only one pound of the lavender oil. So you can see how constant, super concentrated it is. It actually helps you relax and de-stress. Um, there's been a research study that shows um, that lavender essential oil not only helps people feel more relaxed, but they also have had more mental focus when performing math computations after they inhaled lavender essential oil. And that's actually because lavender can adjust, it adapts to the body. So it assists the body by adjusting whether the person needs to be calm or if they need more energy. It's great for all kind all things skin. So any skin irritations, um, rashes, itchy little bug bites, um, cuts, bruises, scrapes. Uh, also good for minor uh, sun burns. Takes the heat right out of that. Very very um, good for those things. There has been another study also that found that lavender can help overcome an anxiety and depression. And in one study, researchers gave lavender essential oil in a capsule to patients suffering from mild to moderate depression. And they reported that it, felt it that it led to a better and earlier improvement in the depression symptoms among patients. So it does help elevate the mood. And there's actually a research study um, that that backs that up. I love to use lavender at my bedside at night. I diffuse it in my diffuser. It helps me sleep. Helps me relax. Um, takes away all the stresses of the day. Um, and I, I've heard that from a lot of people that they love it for their insomnia. Another uh, one. Another reason why people use lavender uh, would be for it's, it's kind of got a, an antihistamine type property in it. Use it for your seasonal itchy no, itchy eyes, runny nose, um, sneezing type things. We get a lot of that down here in Texas, but um, all of those symptoms you can use actually lavender, lemon, and peppermint together um, are very effective in, in taking care of that. And you can also diffuse it as well and works really well. Peppermint is the next one. 
Peppermint oil is very, very potent. I mean, it's, you see on there on the bottom, one, just one little drop of the peppermint oil is equal to 26 cups of peppermint tea. So it's very, very strong. It's like Altoids on steroids. It's, it's crazy how strong it is. Um, very good for all things digestion. So when I'm getting that uh, burning uh, in my chest from what I've eaten previously, I can take a few drops of peppermint and some water, and that helps get rid of that um, real quickly. It also is very good on cleaning out your nasal passages, opening those up if you're stuff, stuffy. Um, if your nose is stopped up, you can just breathe in some peppermint. It helps open that right up. It, um, you can also rub the peppermint diluted on um, two or three drops to the abdomen for any digestion relief. So for upset stomach, um, indigestion, gas, that type of stuff, peppermint's really, really good for that. And peppermint also is known as a driving oil. So you can apply peppermint on any of your other oils and it actually helps push the other oil in. So when we talked earlier about water has its place with oils, this would be a situation, so if you're trying to um, have, if you have some kind of discomfort that's real deep, like in a joint or down in a muscle, you can rub um, your oil on that area, put the peppermint on top of it, and then you can actually put a wet compress on top of that, and it'll help drive the oil in even further. So um, that's a good time to use your water. Peppermint is very, very good for headaches. Um, you can actually put it around your temple area. I can do it neat or undiluted, but my husband can't. So if you're sensitive to things like that, or if it starts to kind of burn your eyes a little bit, just take some of your carrier oil and dilute it down a little bit, um, and that'll help. It does get a little strong if you put it on for the first time. There's actually a research study that shows, um, that found that inhaling peppermint can actually increase your attention, your focus, and your performance during mental tasks. So um, one drop on your tongue or in a drink or diffusing in the air is a great way to keep your brain and your body awake and alert. There's also tons of other uses for peppermint. Um, one thing I, I found this last summer was I put it in a little spray bottle, yeah, the one with the little, um, the little Mr. Fan on it, put a couple drops in there with some water, and we were out at the concert. And if you've ever been to concerts in Dallas in the summertime, it's pretty hot. So taking that and spraying it um, helps cool you off just within a matter of seconds. It's actually kind of shocking if someone's not ready for it, but it feels very good. The next one is lemon. Lemon is also very good for all things digestion. It helps with um, the burning as well in your, from your stomach. And it helps with gas, and it also all the actually actually all the citrus oils can help improve your concentration and mental um, acuity. And there's actually uh, Dr. Uh, Valnet wrote in his book that um, lemon actually acts as a liver decongestion and a diuretic, and helps cleanse the body. Um, so it helps change the pH as well in your body. And we all need to be in a more alkaline state to keep our health up. So lemon helps us achieve that. And it's actually kind of an interesting little note. The little small bottle of lemon, so five milliliters of lemon oil, is equal to 43 um, lemon rinds. We actually cold press those. So very, very concentrated stuff. It's not the juice. It's the actual rind of the lemon that gets um, cold pressed down for that. Um, lemon is, is packed full of powerful antioxidants, and it's been shown to help the body combat viruses, bacteria, infections, and cancer cells. There's actually a research study that shows that. And in fact, lemon has also shown in over 50 scientific studies to be effective in fighting tumor growth. It helps to promote circulation and the formation of new white blood cells. And so it's a great oil to boost your immune system. Another important thing to mention about all citrus oils, not just lemon, is that um, they will actually um, eat or dissolve petrochemicals. Won't have hurt us, but if you drop one drop of that lemon oil on a balloon or put a couple of drops on a styrofoam plate, it's going to dissolve and put a hole in it. It's going to pop your balloon. So anytime you're putting lemon or any citrus oils in your water uh, or any other drink, make sure that you're putting them in a glass glass and not something plastic or styrofoam because you don't want to release those petrochemicals and ingest those um, as well. Actually, that same study with Dr. Valnette, uh, vaporized lemon oil can kill meningitis bacteria in 15 minutes, um, typhoid in one hour, staphylococcus aureus in two hours, 
pneumonia bacteria within three hours, and even a 2% solution of lemon oil can kill diphtheria bacteria in 20 minutes and inactivate tuberculosis bacteria. So lemon, lemon does a lot of wonderful things. Um, next one is frankincense. Frankincense is also another oil that does lots of stuff that's good for the body. It is, uh, can help all with all the little fine lines that we find in our face <laughs> as we get older, um, the dark spots. Frankincense is actually one of the key ingredients in our art skincare line. So it's very good for your skin. And with that skincare line, actually, um, Neiman Marcus tried to buy it, and uh, Gary Young told him no. So they knew the benefits of, of all of our, our skincare stuff. It's, very also, it's also very good for aging and dry skin. And frankincense is 78% monoterpenes, which are also known to be common restorative. Actually, frankincense is very good to inhale. It goes to where the seat of the emotions are in the brain, the pineal gland and it can actually help um, activate different regions of that limbic system associated with memory, emotion, and state of mind. So if you've ever been in some of the, um, the churches, sometimes, over, especially over in the Middle East, they, uh, they burn the frankincense resin um, in there to help with all of the, the emotions and things. Uh, frankincense was also valued more than gold during ancient times, and actually uh, back then, only those with great wealth and abundance actually could possess frankincense. It was it was worth that much, and actually, in, in the Middle East, it's still uh, being considered. It's still considered the holy anointing oil over there, and it's mentioned 52 times in the Bible. Frankincense is. There's actually been many studies on frankincense, or multiple studies on frankincense, that show that it's extremely effective for combating cancer cells and, and tumors. And Dr. H.K. Lynn at the University of Oklahoma Health and Science Center and other researchers have identified that among other cancer cells, frankincense has been proven effective against breast, pancreatic, and bladder cancer cells. The next oil we're going to talk about is Melaleuca. It's actually Melaleuca alternifolia is the long name for it, or Mele. Um, the other name that you guys may recognize is tea tree oil. So tea tree oil is used for um, skin health, so for pimples and scrapes. Um, it can clean um, your face. It can clean minor cuts and scrapes. Um, it also helps purify the mind and body of emotional wounds. It can help with uh, anxious moods or overwhelmed minds. It can help support the immune system. And it can also eliminate occasional yeast buildup. It's actually been used since um, the 1700s by the indigenous peoples of Australia to help, um, help cut wounds, fungi, and infections. And it's highly regarded for its uh, wide range of uses and is amazing for supporting the immune system. In fact, according to a study published by the researchers in China, Melaleuca alternifolia was shown to have a significant effect against influenza virus, and that's quoted by them. The oil contains terpenol, I guess that's how you say that, terpenol. Terpenol. It's a, a key component that is documented to be antimicrobial and antiseptic. So the properties in Melaleuca have also been shown to help reduce bacteria, fungi, viruses, parasites, and inflammation. So it was actually in a research study. Um, very good for cleansing. So you can um, massage it to the chest for lung function. Use it in your mouth to, uh, to support your healthy te uh, teeth and gums. It's just, it's good for, it's a good all-around oil. It does all kinds of good things. Next one we're going to talk about is Panaway. Panaway is actually a, a blend. It has wintergreen, helichrysum, wintergreen, helichrysum, clove, and peppermint. So the all the oils in this blend can help with problems associated with the nervous system, muscles, and bones, and both helichrysum oils in the blend and the wintergreen are especially good for soothing muscle spasms. And um, studies actually have shown that peppermint in the, the well, peppermint alone, but it's in the pan away, so it can actually be effective in reducing muscle pain and fatigue, and it promotes muscle relaxation. So this is a great oil for um, joints and um, muscle aches. That kind of thing. You can actually also blend Panaway with our two um, 
massage oils, ortho ease and ortho sport. You can combine those in that, or you can actually even rub it in with just some coconut oil or olive oil. It's good for all kinds of discomfort. Um, there's actually um, needs to be a precaution put in on Panaway too, along with the, the peppermint we just we talked about earlier. If you're pregnant. Um, there's oils such as peppermint and wintergreen can act as a stimulant. So Panaway is really not advised um, for pregnant women or if you suffer from epilepsy. So just make note of that. And you'll also notice when you get Panaway in your kit that it has a different kind of lid on it. And that is because of the wintergreen in it. Um, because uh, children, if they consume large amounts of wintergreen, um, it can be toxic to them. But they'd have to get a large amount. Very good for bruising um, and all kinds of discomfort. Purification. Purification is a, actually also a blend. Um, it's very good for bug bites, and you can actually make your own um, insect repellent using purific purification. So, if you forget the purification uh, bug repellent, you can use it when the bugs bite you. You can get rid of that um, the itchy and and um, soreness of those bites. I actually have a friend of mine who's uh, Husband used it for chiggers. And we get we get chiggers or red bugs down here in Texas, so um, helped take that itch out of those. It also is very nice to diffuse in your diffuser. It helps get rid of um, odors in your home or in a hotel room. Um, helps combat that. Combat that. And you can also use it as um, in your washing machine or to keep your laundry fresh. And um, yeah, Stinky Boy Shoes, that's another another thing I've been told that it's very, very good for. I don't have any Stinky Boys at my house, so I can't attest to that. Stress Away. Some people love Stress Away so much they like to use it as a, as a perfume. Just roll it on with the rollerball and, and use it. But it does exactly what it says it does. It helps reduce stress and any mental tension. So um, it actually helps relax you. There's been some folks that swear by drinking it in a glass of water before they go to bed. Um, it smells good, so I guess it would probably taste good as well. And diffusing it actually at night um, with your lavender um, will help you get a, a good night's sleep as well. So um, it's a blend of six different oils. It actually has copaiba, lime, cedarwood, vanilla, akatea, and lavender, along with a little bit of coconut oil as a carrier oil. And you can use uh, this to help calm down the children as well with that. So Thieves was created from historical research of a group of 15th century thieves who were perfumers and spice traders. And the group of thieves rubbed a blend of oils on themselves to avoid contracting the plague as they robbed the bodies of the dead and dying. When they were apprehended, the thieves disclosed the formula of blended herbs, spices, and oils that they used to protect themselves in exchange for more lenient punishment. So when Gary Young, the founder of, and CEO of Young Living, read this story, he put together the same essential oil blend that those European thieves had used to keep them from getting the plague. So um, thieves is actually made up of clove, lemon, eucalyptus, rosemary, and cinnamon bark. So the, um, the, those thieves back in the Middle Ages knew that they would be protected by the oils with which they had anointed themselves. Since that time, science has actually shown why they were kept healthy. There was actually a scientific study conducted at Webster State University showed a 99.96% reduction in the number of airborne microorganisms with the blend used by thieves. So thieves is uh, absolutely amazing in helping to ward off um, any kind of the little cootie bugs that you get. The, the blend contains very uh, powerful essential oils and individually they've all been shown um, to fight viruses and bacteria. And clove, in one in particular, is the hardest hitting oils to help um, combat infections. There's actually a whole Thieves line products. We have cleaning supplies, oral care, so toothpaste, mouthwash, um, dental floss, there's hand sanitizers, um, wipes, lozenges, um, even like hand sanitizing sprays. And you can use these to even make your own hand sanitizing sprays. and, and uh, I think I've seen a, a recipe on Pinterest for the lozenges, so you can make your own as well. Um, so Thieves helps support your immune system for good health. It's for good oral health. It actually um, adds, adds an extra 
extra boost for antioxidant support. Um, so it, it very good with its cleansing ability. So these is just all around wonderful oil. I like the way it smells. I could just diffuse it and, and smell it that way. Actually, one little testimonial I have for this is my uh, my 12 year old daughter came down with um, the seasonal cootie bug that you get this time of the year or during the winter time um, and was diagnosed with it, came down with it on Sunday night, diagnosed with it on Monday morning, um, didn't use any kind of conventional treatment, um, just was diffusing oils, actually diffused thieves around the clock and rubbed it on her feet and up and down her spine, um, diluted, and um, by Wednesday morning she was ready to go back to school. So two and a half days um, she was feeling as good as new. These are all the Thieves Line products. Um, so you can see there's all different kinds um, in there with using the, the, the Thieves oil. You can get rid of all your toxic chemicals in the home and just use the Thieves oil or the Thieves cleaner. It will actually clean everything from mirrors to floors to toilets. You can use it for all of your cleaning needs. You can actually wash dishes and your clothes, I think, as well with it. So Joy is the next oil. It's actually a blend of 10 different oils, which is pretty cool. Um, it has palm, uh, bergamot, lemon, palmarosa, ylang ylang, mandarin, rosewood, geranium, jasmine, roman chamomile, and rose. And rose is actually um, one of the highest uh, frequency oils. It's, it, will, it actually has a frequency of 320 megahertz. So um, the interesting thing about rose is it takes... A 5,000 pounds of rose petals, I believe it is, to make one cup of rose oil. So rose is a very um, expensive oil by itself, so it's nice to get it in a blend like this and get the benefits from it. Um, when joy is inhaled, it's known to help bring back memories of feeling loved, secure, and at peace as the aromas go through the olfactory lobe of the brain and unlock the limbic system. Um, so it's very good for your emotions. Uh, the rose oil in the Joy Blend has uh, helps create a sense of balance, harmony, and well-being. And both bergamot and ylang ylang are contained in the blend, and they've been known to help balance hormones and um, and balance both the male and the female energies. The Joy oil also contains um, several citrus oils. So you got mandarin, lemon, uh, both in there, which have, have been shown to um, help promote promote sleep and help occasional feelings of stress, irritability, and emotional distress. Um, so it, it can do a lot of good things for you. You can dilute the, the one part joy to 15 parts of your um, V6 oil or your carrier oil for uh, the massage. And you can also put a couple drops on a wet cloth and put it in your dryer to help uh, make your clothes smell good. Or you can put it a few drops on a, a cotton ball and put it in your air vent. Um, so, and you can definitely uh, wear it. Some people like to wear it as a cologne. Uh, they said it, it works best if you rub it over your heart area. So that is Joy. Citrus Fresh. I like this one. It's a blend of orange, tangerine, grapefruit, lemon, mandarin, and spearmint. Um, I like this one in my water and also in my tea. Tastes really good. It helps bring about a sense of well-being, creativity, and feelings of joy. Helps uplift your mood. Can actually help reduce um, stress, anxiety, or sadness. And it, since it does have all the citrus oils in it and the spearmint, it can help um, promote uh, or support proper digestive function. Um, also, remember with your citrus oils, um, it does have the potential to. Um, cause skin discoloration if it's, if it's out in the sun. So remember not to rub this on your skin if you're gonna be in sunlight or even ultraviolet light like a tanning bed um, at least 12 hours, 24 hours after applying it. So um, put it where the sun's not gonna be exposed to it. Ningxia Red is one of our, uh, is our antioxidant juice. It pretty much supports all the systems in the body, as you can see there. It helps with health and wellness, uh, you know, your digestive system, your kidney functions, liver functions, and it supports everything. And you can see that one ounce of Ningxia Red um, actually contains the antioxidants found in two cups of raspberries, four cups of carrots, two quarts of carrot juice, eight oranges, 
two pounds of raw beets, two cups of beet juice, and three cups of blueberries. So um, it's one of the highest antioxidant juices right now on the market uh, on the ORAC scale. So you may want to know how do you get all these great oils. So we've gone through all the oils. We've told you how they affect our bodies. And um, as I close, there's two ways you can get the oils. You can either become a retail customer, the person who invited you to review the, the video, or you can become a wholesale member. And, and the person that invited you to view this uh, will become a, your sponsor. So my recommendation to get the most bang for your buck is to start with the premium starter kit, which is $150. It retails for over $300, almost $350 uh, retail. So you're getting it at almost half off. And then once you purchase your starter kit, this actually also allows um, you to get a membership with Young Living and any oils that you, or any products that you produce, uh, that you purchase from Young Living from this point out, um, you get a 24% off retail cost um, savings on those. So if you decide to become a wholesale member, the cost of the premium kit is only $150. It, it includes all 11 of the essential oils that we went over, the diffuser, the Ningxia Red and essential oil samples. You get product literature um, in your box and your wholesale membership. So just to show you what all you would get with your membership, um, you actually get all the 11 oils. These are all five milliliter bottles of oils. And I know you think you probably won't use all of these, but that's what I thought too. Uh, but it's not true. You will use them all. I think the only one I use rarely is the Joy just because I personally don't like the way it smells. But I've also been told that if you don't like the way something smells, your body actually needs it. And it's actually in a book. It's in the chemical, about the chemical oils of, get that resource to you. Um, there, there's a, a resource book that tells you if your body is having you reject it, it's because there's actually something in your body that needs it. So I really need to be putting it on. Um, I just forget. But all of them, you will use them, and some of them very quickly, um, you'll be wanting more. So in your other kit you get, or the other little box that's going to come to you, you're going to get two samples of your Ningxia Red. Um, so and I think they're two milliliter bottle, or little things, so it's like two, two doses in one, or you could use two, the two, but I split it up, get four, four um, little shots of it. Then you get stre uh, your Stress Away in here, or actually your Citrus Fresh is going to come in this one, and you get a roller ball. And the rollerball is really cool because you can put it on, most people put it on the stress away. Um, it's got the little rollerball filament on it. And you can just kind of roll it on your skin. Um, you can get more of these, so if you can put rollerballs on all your oils, you can. But it's a really cool little, <laughs> really cool little tool. Um, one thing about the rollerball, when you go to put it in your bottle, I like to tell people this because um, I didn't feel very bright when I was doing it, but it actually doesn't look like it sits great in there when you first put it in your bottle. It looks wobbly. You actually have to put the lid on it, screw it down, it tightens it up into the bottle, um, and it'll seat right. And you can take it out. Once that bottle is empty, you loosen the lid on the bottle, and you can pop it right out of the, the bottle. So um, it is reusable. It's not a one-time only thing. And then you'll also get some samples of um, some of the oils as well. You can share those with your friends. And then you get the diffuser. And another thing about the diffuser that I like is that you can do it continuously where it's um, constantly going. You can put it on intermittent, so it'll just do little puffs and it'll stop. You can actually turn the light off by pushing and holding in the button, so you can turn off the light. And if you run it on the intermittent cycle, you'll get about six hours out of it. If you run it on the continuous cycle, you'll get uh, about four hours out of it before you have to refill it. But um, I've got diffusers all around the house. So that's what you get for your $150, plus anything additional than that or from that. Uh, from here for the next year, you'll get 24% off. The only thing you have to do to keep your membership up is purchase $50 within the year. And that's really easy to do if you're, um, you're replenishing your oils and, and product replacing your stuff uh, as for na more natural products and getting rid of the toxins in your home. Um, so that is it. I want to thank you guys for watching our video. And please get with the person that uh, introduced you to the oils. Get with them and, and get your kit and get signed up and start your oil life.